Good evening. Welcome to the 93rd commencement ceremony of the St. Genevieve High School for the class of 2008. The commencement ceremony is an important occasion for our graduates, families, and friends. It represents a culmination of 13 years of work. Although it is a happy time, it should be a ceremony and not a celebration. Your conduct at the ceremony should be dignified. Our bleachers are noisy. Please limit movement up and down the bleachers. We also ask at this time that you turn off all cell phones, beepers, or any other electronic device that may interfere with the ceremony. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. I now call on the senior class president, Ashley Marie Armbruster, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps or hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to call on the 2008 salutatorian, Miss Jolene Roth. Everyone gave each other a pat on the back first because we are here. I don't know. <laughs> All right. You guys too? <laughs> All right. After 12 years of dragging ourselves out of bed every morning only to fall asleep in class, taking tormenting tests, and doing endless piles of homework, we're finally finished. We get a walk across this stage, have a photo snap, and then what we do with our lives is all up to us. For a lot of us, leaving high school is a little bittersweet. We've grown up together and saying goodbye isn't as easy as it's made out to be. High school is over. It's okay to miss parts of it, but I encourage you never to wish you could go back because wanting to go back will never accomplish anything but regret and there's very little you can do with that. Instead, see the end of high school as a door to opportunities that didn't exist before. It's okay to worry about the future, but just remember that worrying and stress does very little because oftentimes the biggest problems we will ever face are those that blindside us or catch us off our guard. Probably the best advice I ever got was to do what makes you happy and get rid of anything that doesn't. Mr. O'Brien has a poster in his room that says this very well. It states the baby philosophy. If something stinks, change it, rather than let it stink up everything else. This means if something is jeopardizing your dreams, future, or you just don't like the way things are going, change it. Support yourself by working hard and not depending on others to carry you through life. You alone decide what your life is going to be like from now on. Finally, I encourage everyone to take what you've learned and use it, whether it was from a textbook, a teacher, or your friends. Remember, there's no use in learning anything if you're only gonna forget it later. So take all those lessons learned, and especially the ones learned the hard way, and do something with them. Everyone has obviously already accomplished so much or they wouldn't be here. But don't let it stop now. Make the most of life. Have all the fun you could ever want, but never stop focusing on your dreams. As Mr. Zeusman always told us, leave nothing to chance. You only have one life to live, but if you do it right, once will be enough. Again, congratulations to the class of 2008. I now call on Ms. Michelle Define for the presentation of the Instrumental Awards and the National Choral Award. Okay. 
Our first instrumental award is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award, and this year's recipient is Annie Goki. Our second instrumental award is the John Philip Sousa Band Award, and this year's recipient is Alex Martin. Now on to our Choral Award. This year's National School Choral Award goes to Rachel Shrimp. I now call on Mr. Bob Stolzer, our Athletic Director, for the presentation of the 2008 Athletic Awards. It's my pleasure to present the 2008 Senior Male and Female Athlete of the Year as voted on by the head coaches in our 11 sports that we offer here at the high school. First off, I'd like to present the Amelia Peterson Award for the Senior Female Athlete of 2008, Kelsey Inman. For the senior male athlete, the Mal Kimmel Award, 2008, goes to Kurt Roth. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to call on the 2008 valedictorian, Mr. Kyle Schweitz. Woo! Kyle Schaefer, I'm sorry. I'll just throw out there that Kyle Schweiss, or Mr. Schweiss as I know him, has been a football coach for me, and uh, also he wanted me to put, me put him in here for some reason, but I think that'll be enough. <laughs> all right. First of all, I would like to do the traditional thank you part of the valedictorian speech. On, the, my, on behalf of my class, I would like to thank everyone for attending tonight. All of these graduates over here have somehow survived four years of high school, and they deserve respect uh, for that accomplishment. The teachers and administrators also deserve thanks from everyone in the building, because otherwise we would not have achieved what we're celebrating tonight. I've had positive relationships with most of uh, the faculty, 
Fortunately, the guy I guess I wanted to stay away from uh, was Mr. Haney, uh, our assistant principal. The only time I really had a problem with him was whenever he claimed I had an invalid parking sticker. Uh, of course, that parking sticker ended up being perfectly okay, uh, but I'll just give Mr. Haney the doubt. Uh, he was probably just disorientated uh, due to his desperate uh, state as a Kansas Jayhawk fan. <laughs> I would also like to thank uh, the businesses and groups in our community uh, that have made me uh, what I am today. First of all, the Boulder Cows has been the largest contributor in the development of my speaking skills. This is a slightly larger group than I'm used to, uh, but I, I'll make it. Uh, and I've been a tour guide there for six years. Uh, so my thanks go out to Lorraine Stang and the rest of the people who have either visited the house or the staff, uh, maybe for putting up, putting up with me for six years. Uh, my church has also been a large asset in my life. Uh, even though the First Presbyterian Church in St. Genevieve isn't exactly uh, large, uh, it has stood as a rock of encouragement and stability throughout my life. Uh, you never really hear anything negative there. It's kind of nice. Uh, this belief in God is the center of my confidence that anything that I undertake may be completed successfully uh, whenever. Finally, I'd like to thank my friends and family uh, who have given me more than can be explained with words. My mother is probably the reason why I'm here today. Uh, without her, I wouldn't be as mentally strong as I am now due to our relatively constant battles over useless items or actions. However, our love has been consistent through every bump. Uh, I'm just waiting for her to finally admit that she's wrong. <laughs> Don't know if that'll happen. My father has also been another influence that has helped me uh, through my achievements. But I think that his significant contribution comes through his actions. He has shown me that responsibility uh, and trustworthiness are the central objects in someone's life. Our hobbies together have also provided diversions from both school and life in general. One constant it seems to be in our house is that there will always be another car project to finish uh, and then start again. It never ends. My friends have also provided support uh, and most importantly, a stress relief release from everything else going on. Whether it was going to the races in Peebly or playing Halo late throughout the night, uh, these activities have allowed me to finish high school sane. Uh, some may argue, but whatever. These activities uh, have been mostly limited to my guy friends. Uh, any girl that I've dated also deserves respect, not only for staying with me whenever I have quite a hectic and spontaneous, because I forget to tell you stuff, I don't know, it happens. But sorry I can't be perfect all the time, even I make a mistake every millennium or so. They have also provided a source for me to realize where my priorities lie and how important love and care are in every relationship. Now we can finally move on to the part of my speech, which I'm sure everyone was looking forward to, where I'm supposed to motivate everyone to be successful and hopefully become millionaires. <laughs> Money and success are only relative to how you actually live your life, uh, but I'll try to provide some insight that maybe I've picked up throughout my high school. Throughout four years of football, Coach Stolzer has reminded us every year uh, that linemen, as linemen, that you don't get to pick everything that you have to do. But doing a bad job is not a successful option. This was usually about the time that we were going to hit that wonderful five-person sled uh, up and down the practice field, and I haven't quite gotten to the part, point where I miss it yet, but he says that's going to happen. Coach's analogy was based on the fact that for every action you do, you must be able to motivate yourself to do it to the best of your ability. He also stressed how the best of your ability should be applied to everything in your life, whether you like it or not. Uh, his analogy or uh, memory is pretty interesting if you uh, want to ask him about that. 
I just can't quite say it up here. I really hate these tassels, by the way. <laughs> a motivator that exists uh, in everybody is competition. Through competition, one can achieve what was previously beyond their reach. Frequently, as a kid playing sports, the common saying, it's just a game, was spoken. That saying is to uh, encourage kids to accept losing. True, the game should not take precedence, for example, of friendship, uh, but giving a kid an excuse not to put out 100% effort and accept losing is unacceptable. Especially now that we're uh, moving on from high school into the real world, uh, this acceptance of losing is not beneficial. Uh, it won't, won't turn out too well. Many times, a person's competitive drive is central to their success. You see it everywhere. Drawing on this need to be successful is essential in every action that we participate in during our life. Another simple feeling which inhibits people from achieving their goals is a lack of self-confidence. Doubt too easily controls people who do not believe in themselves. Doubt leads to indecision, which usually leads to failure, another blow to self-confidence. For example, many hunters are faced with self-confidence problems. Deer hardly ever line up for the perfect shot, uh, so you get to thinking maybe a better shot will appear. However, usually only one shot is all that you'll get, so pulling the trigger in spite of the doubt uh, really should be applied to every action that you're involved in. Uh, Rob Hillscamp's favorite general, George S. Patton, uh, followed the belief to always attack your enemy. In our case, uh, the enemy is any problem that arises. By relentlessly attacking it, a solution will be found. Alexander the Great from Greece also followed another similar belief connecting action with success, and that is fortune favors the bold. So if in doubt, attack. Finding your inner self-confidence will allow you to survive the low times in your life. A fine example of inner self-confidence is Mr. Steve Zeusman. On the outside, he projects negativity and a belief that he is practically worthless and everyone else has a bright future that uh, he has squandered away. Through two years of him as a teacher, two things have become apparent. One, no one could be that negative all the time and will actually believe it. And two, that this negative negativity is his way to promote self-confidence in his students. For Mr. Zeusman, his life probably, and from the way it sounds from his stories, been eventful. But his ability to overcome these problems and reflect his success to his students in words of encouragement is a selfless act that will ensure his connections with all his students forever. Now we must come to the point where we accept that high school is officially over. What is considered the best time of our life by some people is officially gone. However, believing in this would imply that everything after high school uh, is subpar, pretty much sucks. Learning and drawing confidence from our high school years is essential. Uh, but promoting high school as the best you ever will be uh, is kind of detrimental. Once a person accepts that they'll no longer become better in anything at all, uh, there's really no reason to live. One thing that I'm proud to say about our class is their ability to enjoy life in the different situations that we are presented in. If a person can enjoy their life to the fullest by pumping gas for a living, uh, any, uh, any other occupation for them would, really wouldn't be worthwhile. As long as you find yourself enjoying and benefiting from your life, uh, your path should not be altered. By forcing yourself to have no fun at the expense of stress is suicide. Uh, many times I've found that relieving your stress is the easiest way to find a solution to a problem. For example, uh, if I had a calculus problem uh, that just wouldn't work out, uh, it happened every now and then. Uh, it was amazing how if I reworked the problem the next day, the correct answer would appear. As Miss O'Brien says, uh, the clock is always ticking on your life, 
and death is always going to be a constant, even though it's kind of weird whenever she tells you that because you get an eerie feeling. Uh, not enjoying part of your life due to stress is a waste of your life. Uh, hopefully, at least half of everyone here uh, stayed awake through my speech. Uh, but my saying, I guess, to my class is just to enjoy life, have fun, hopefully it'll turn out well. Very nice speech by our valedictorian, Kyle Schaefer. And I apologize to his family and him for my announcement slip and uh, the gracious way he's kind of let me off the hook. Thank you very much. Um, at this time, uh, we would like to give special recognition to special awards received by the following groups of seniors. Graduates wearing light blue satin pennants are members of the Dragon Chapter of the National Honor Society. This organization is the most prestigious of the co-curricular groups at the high school level. Members are selected by a faculty committee and our students who reflect outstanding accomplishments in the areas of scholarship, character, leader, leadership, and service. All four areas are equally considered and the students selected for membership must continually strive to use their talents and skills for the improvement of the society. Students, please stand as I call your name and remain standing. Audience, please hold your applause until all students have been introduced. Wesley Dillard, Chad Greminger, Jill Herman, Megan Herman, Lindsey Herzog, Allender Huck, Kelsey Inman, Chan Wei Lu, Kaylee Meyer, Leslie Neal, Kyle Schaefer, Nicole Shank, Rachel Shrimp, Ryan Sprawl, Sean Stiegel, and Aaron Weiner. These are our National Honor Society members from the class of 2008. Students, you may be seated. Several of the students tonight are wearing gold honor cords. The honor cord exemplifies scholastic achievements during the past four years. The unique feature about the honor cord is that all students, regardless of their program of study, have an equal opportunity to achieve this honor. We have two groups of students wearing these cords tonight, the honor students and the high honor students. Honor students are the students that have been on the high honor roll and regular honor roll a total of at least 12 quarters during the past four years. Students, please stand as I call your name and remain standing. Audience, please hold your applause until all students have been introduced. Ashley Armbruster, Samantha Aubuchon, Zachary Bosler, Ashley Braun, Dominic Clemens, Wesley Dillard, Joshua Ellibrecht, Kimberly Fallert, Olivia Fisher, Nicole Garner, Aaron Gettinger, Annie Goki, Carl Grass, Cecilia Hiley, Angela Huber, Kelsey Inman, Courtney Jacob, Jessica Jokerst, Caitlin Jokerst, Victoria Kemper, Cassandra Kreitler, Amanda Lonzak Huck, Sarah Lewis, Chan Wei Lu, Alex Martin, Thomas Madison, Kaylee Meyer, Kimberly Meyer, David Ogden, Jonathan Piku, Kristen Rainey, Brittany Rayfield, Leo Ruther, Dana Roth, Nicole Shank, Rachel Shrimp, Tyler Trollinger, Waylon Vines, Randy Weber, Andrew Winkler, and Brian Whipler. These are our honor students from the class of 2008. <laughs> students, you may be seated. High honors are those students that have been on the high honor roll at least 13 quarters and the regular honor roll for at least three quarters during the past four years. Students, please stand as I call your name and remain standing. Audience, please hold your applause until all students have been introduced. Brittany Adams, Jacqueline Akins, Brianna Beckett, Chad Greminger, Jill Herman, Megan Herman, Lindsey Herzog, Allender Hook, Crystal Lalamandir, Andrew May, Leslie Neal, Jolene Roth, Kyle Schaefer, Eric Schrader, Ryan Sprawl, Sean Stiegel, and Aaron Weiner. These are our high honor students from the class of 2008. <laughs> students, you may be seated. I'm going to 
which is very uncharacteristic of myself, to deviate from the program. And I noticed that I mentioned a young man's name in the past group that I need to recognize this evening. Would Andrew May please stand? It has been brought to my attention by Mrs. Howell, the high school counselor that deals with seniors, that this young man has been through kindergarten through 12th grade with perfect attendance. Let's give him a round of applause. Now back to the script. We're very proud to acknowledge our A-plus schools program graduates. They are wearing green and white cords of distinction. These students have met the A-plus requirements, which are a 6.875 cumulative grade point average, 95% of cumulative attendance, good citizenship, and have performed at least 50 hours of tutoring and or mentoring. As a certified A-plus student, they are eligible for tuition assistance to attend any Missouri community college or vocational technical school. Students, please stand as I call your name and remain standing. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. Brittany Adams, Jacqueline Akins, Ashley Armbruster, Samantha Aubuchon, Brianna Beckett, Emily Blumenthal, Ashley Braun, Brittany Byington, Dominic Clemens, Kimberly Fallert, Olivia Fisher, Nicole Garner, Aaron Gettinger, Chad Reminger, Jill Herman, Megan Herman, Keith Herman, Lindsay Herzog, Lindsay Hogan-Miller, Angela Huber, Ellender Hook, Courtney Jacob, Ethan Jokerst, Jessica Jokerst, Cassandra Kreitler, Crystal Lalamandir, Sarah Lewis, Nicholas Linder, Chan Wei Lu, Kimberly Meyer, Derek Knoll, David Ogden, Jonathan Piku, Kristen Rainey, Stephanie Rector, Kurt Roth, Dana Roth, Jolene Roth, Stacy Rucker, Nicole Schenk, Eric Schrader, Rachel Shrimp, Ryan Sprawl, Sean Stiegel, Tyler Tomier, Brandy Weber, Andrew Winkler, and these, this is the seventh graduating class from St. Genevieve with A plus recognition, and we are extremely proud of these students. You may be seated. Students wearing the gold stoles are current 2007-2008 senior class offers, officers. Students, please stand when you've been acknowledged. Audience, please hold your applause until all five girls have been recognized. The president, Ashley Armbruster. The vice president, Courtney Jacob. The secretary, Kimberly Fallard. The treasurer, Jessica Jokerst. The historian, Kristen Rainey. These are the senior class officers of 2008. Ladies, you may be seated. Four special awards are presented at graduation to two girls and two boys in the senior class. These students are voted on by the entire high school teaching staff and they represent outstanding characteristics such as character, leadership, citizenship, and scholarship. The two recipients of the 2008 I Dare You Award are, the young lady is Miss Nicole Marie Schenk. And the young man is Allender Keith Hook. The two recipients of the 2008 Outstanding Boy and Girl are, the young lady is Miss Lindsay Lee Herzog.
Kyle Richard Schaefer. Many other students have received honors. These honors have been listed on the inside of the program that you received tonight. Please refer to the program to review the additional numerous academic accomplishments of the class of 2008. Also, each year we would like to take a moment to recognize those students who receive local scholarships. We sincerely appreciate the support of the community and the businesses that fund the scholarships that the students receive. These scholarships are appreciated by the students and I know that they will help these students to achieve their goals. At this time, I would like to recognize these students and the businesses that sponsored the scholarship. Students, please stand and remain standing as I call your name. Audience, please hold your applause until all of the students have been recognized. Brittany Adams, St. Genevieve Rotary Club Scholarship. Jacqueline Aikens, Bloomsdale Elementary PTO. Ashley Armbruster, Don Heil All Company and Cooperating DJs Mini Mart. Brianna Beckett, Women's Club Young Women's Scholarship Fund. Emily Blumenthal, St. Jen County Democratic Club. Ashley Braun, MFA Foundation Scholarship. Brittany Byington, Dylan Greither Memorial Scholarship. Aubrey Byron, Fleeks Equipment Incorporated Scholarship. Rachel Counts, SGHS FCCLA. Kimberly Fowler, St. Genevieve County Horseshoe League. Olivia Fisher, Plaza Tire Service. Nicole Garner, Robert and Ryan Wolf Farmers Insurance. Aaron Genninger, U.S. Bank. Annie Gokey, German Club. Carl Grass, Bank of Bloomsdale. Chad Greminger, American Legion Post 150. Jill Herman, St. Genevieve County Memorial Hospital Medical Staff. Megan Herman, St. Gen Elks Lodge 2674 Vocational School. Lindsey Herzog, National Junior Honor Society and the National Honor Society. Cecilia Hiley, St. Genevieve Area Chamber of Commerce and St. Genevieve R2 Faculty. Angela Huber, Women's Club Helen Smith Scholarship. Alan Der Hook, St. Genevieve National Education Association and First Bank Scholarship. Kelsey Inman, Raymond W. Thomas Memorial Scholarship. Courtney Jacob, Bloomsdale Welding Scholarship. Jessica Jokers, Zell JCs. Victoria Kemper, Wine Garden JCs. Cassandra Kreitler, Virginia Grovey Scholarship. Crystal Lalamandir, SJHS FBLA Scholarship. Sarah Lewis, St. Genevieve Missouri State and St. Genevieve Missouri State Teachers Association. Nick Linder, Eric Scott, Chan Wei Lu, St. Genevieve Rotary Club, Alex Martin, Karen McKersey Scholarship, Country Music Associations Incorporated Scholarship, and the St. Genevieve High School Dragon Band Booster Scholarship. Thomas Madison, Sylvanus Products Incorporated. Kim Meyer, French Club, Leslie Neal, French Club, and Bill Carl Memorial Scholarship. Derek Noel, Classic Cruisers Car Club. David Ogden, United Steelworkers of America Local 169. Dana Roth, St. Gen JCs. Jolene Roth, Hill and Dale Garden Club Scholarship and St. Genevieve Elks Lodge 2674 Scholarship. Kyle Schaefer, American Legion Post 150, St. Genevieve High School, Built Fest Pride in Manufacturing and Sylvanus Products Incorporated Scholarship. Nicole Shank, Peggy Johnson Memorial Scholarship and the Linda Coleman Henson Volleyball Scholarship. Eric Schrader, St. Gen Pork Producers, Rachel Shrimp, Lions Club of St. Genevieve Scholarship, Ryan Sprawl, Tyler Wolf Memorial Scholarship, Sean Stiegel, Small Business Scholarship, St. Gen Yanks Dave Stiegel Scholarship, and Bader Lands uh, Survey Scholarship, Tyler Tomier, Herzog Construction, Kevin Weberry, Armella Peterson Scholarship, Andrew Winkler, Lakeland Insurance Agency, Brian Whipler, Citizens Electric Corporation. And I'd also like to mention the names of all of the small business donors, which include Jerry's Beauty Shop, Shoe and Sons Plumbing and Heating, Point Face Development Corporation, Oberly Meats, Dairy Queen, St. Genevieve Butcher Shop, Klein Eye Care, Bloomsdale Excavating, Jerry Herman Construction, Ultraflow Corporation, Klein's Pharmacy, Vern Bowman Contracting, Lurk Custom Cabinets, Bosler Funeral Home, Lloyd Ag Services, Carpenters Local 2030, Contem Contemporary Engineering Designs, Computer Solutions, St. Genevieve Herald, David Lee's Repair Shop, Rottler and Hills Camp, Show Me Shop, and Sarah's Ice Cream. Could we please give these students and the businesses a round of applause.
Students, you may be seated. I would now like to call to the podium Mr. Michael Stewart, our superintendent of schools, for several introductions and comments. Mr. Stewart. At this point in my life, the decision is, is will I need my glasses or not? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's my privilege to introduce to you the platform guests this evening. First, the Board of Education members are the members of the St. Genevieve R2 District Board of Education. These people serve the community and school district without compensation. They spend countless hours formulating policies and making decisions in the interest of the young people of the school district. They have played a major role in the many advances our school district has made over the past many years. I would like to ask them to stand as I introduce them. Please, again, hold your applause until I've introduced all the members. Our president, been on the board for 18 years, Martha Riesinger. Our vice president, Ms. Joan Dunsey, five years. Our secretary, Mr. Terry McDaniel, seven years. Board member, Jim Kirshner, 14 years. Board member, Bobby Webb, nine years. Board member, Andrea Stolzer, two years. Let's give them a round of applause, please. I also want to introduce our administrators on the podium. My assistant superintendent, Mrs. Shelley Jokers, please stand. Our high school principal, principal Mr. Charlie Carruthers, and our assistant principal, Mr. Chris Hong. Hain, excuse me. Let's give them a proud of applause. Thank you. And in the audience tonight, I want to recognize our long-term employee of 28 years, principal at Bloomsdale, Ms. Jean Dubay. She's going to be retiring at the end of this month. Also tonight, for the past 20 years, we have had a safe after-school graduation party. I would like this evening to recognize the chair people, co-chairs of the project graduation for this year, Ms. Karen Sprawl and Ms. Marcia Schaefer. Would you please stand? Go for it. Thank you. Graduates, you're about to reach that moment you've been striving for since you began kindergarten 13 years ago. On behalf of the staff and the administration of St. Genevieve School District, allow me to extend to you my sincere congratulations. You have all truly earned the diploma you will receive this evening. Tonight is your night. But don't ever forget that others have helped you get where you are today. Your teachers, librarians, counselors, coaches, principals deserve a share of your glory. Don't forget the tech staff, cafeteria staff, teacher assistants, secretaries, custodians, maintenance staff, community volunteers, school nurses, and bus drivers for all of their part in making our school district a pleasant place in which to learn. Most of all, the happiness and the pride of this moment is something to be shared with your parents. They have given you nearly everything that you possess, including life itself. Parents of the graduates, would you please stand? Grandparents, would you also stand? Grandparents, let's give them a round of applause, seniors. Thank you all. Now, graduates, it's your turn to stand, please. All of you, please stand. Mrs. Riesinger and the members of the Board of Education, 
It's my pleasure to declare to you that the young people assembled before you have fulfilled all of the requirements as set forth by the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education and additional requirements as set forth by the St. Genevieve Board of Education and are now eligible to receive their high school diploma along with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the St. Genevieve High School Senior Class of 2008. Ashley Marie Armbruster. Yeah. Kyle Richard Schaefer. Yeah. Brittany Lynn Adams. Jacqueline Marie Aikens. Blake David Armbruster. Samantha Eileen Aubuchon. Dylan Lee Bader. Angela Sue Christine Baker. <laughs> Derek William Bosler. <laughs> Zachary Joseph Bosler. <laughs> Michael Timothy Bowman. <laughs> Brianna Marie Beckett. <laughs> Stephen Michael Biat Jr. <laughs> Emily Ann Blumenthal. Chelsea Lynn Bowen. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Braun. <laughs> Ethan William Braun. <laughs> Courtney Lynn Brown. Timothy Patrick Brown. Darren Terrence Berger. Mitchell Ray Burton. Brittany Marie Byington. Aubrey Michelle Byron.
Jolene Marie Roth. Mark Allen Campbell, Jr. Brittany Catherine Karen. Joseph John Karen. Matthew Glenn Karen. Dominic Lee Clements. Rachel Michelle Counts. Zachary Wade Duvault. Kevin Michael DeBow, <laughs> Brittany Marie Decker, <laughs> Chad Lewis Diamond, <laughs> Wesley Perry Dillard, Joshua Isaac Ellibrecht, William Keith Everett, Kimberly Ann Ballard, Rex William Finley, <laughs> Olivia Ann Fisher, <laughs> Jordan Michael Vincent Fleeg, <laughs> Zachary Gerard Fleeg. Lucas Benjamin Gaddy. <laughs> Nicole Lachey Garner. Aaron Nicole Gettinger. Annie Lee Goki, <laughs> Carl Lawrence Brass, <laughs> Chad Gerard Grimminger, <laughs> Melissa Marie Hall. Braden David Heberly, Brandon Douglas Heberly, Christopher Michael Henson, Jill Lynn Herman. Megan Marie Herman, Keith Charles Herman, Lindsay Lee Herzog, Cecilia Rose Hiley.
Lindsay Renee Hogan Miller. Angela Michelle Hoover. Allender Keith Hook. Amanda Sue Hook. Johnny Marie Hook. Skyler Brandon Hook. Robert Duane Hulskamp. Samantha Rose Halsey. Kelsey Taylor Inman. Cody Wayne Isbell. Courtney Renee Jacob. Camry Lynn Jaders. Adam David Jett. Ethan Nicholas Jokers. Jessica Marie Jokerst. Caitlin Elise Jokerst. Serena Noel here. Brittany Faye Kemp. Garrett Lee Kemper. Victoria Ellen Kemper. Cassandra Nicole Kreitler. Crystal Elizabeth Lomondier. Andrew William Lewis. Sarah Elizabeth Lewis. Nicholas James Linderer. John Wei Lu. Jalen Ann Lewis. Stuart Raymond John Louder. Crystal Lynn Macklin. Alex Preston Martin. Thomas James Madison. Andrew Scott May.
Jessica Lynn McClanahan. Joseph Robert McMahon. Sean Michael Melton. Kaylee Morgan Meyer. Kimberly Ann Meyer. Matthew Joseph Meyer. Travis John Meyer. Daniel Scott Middleton. Adam Joseph Mitchell. Benjamin Vernon Nagger. Michelle Elizabeth Nation. Leslie Renee Neal. Derek Gregory Knoll. David Raymond Ogden. Keegan Dean Michael Palazzola. Tyler Todd Parker. Elizabeth Marie Pura. Jonathan Scott Piku. Misty, Misty Dawn Pogue. Courtney Lee Racer. Kristen Nicole Rainey. Brittany Lee Rayfield. Ronald Richard Rayfield III. <laughs> Stephanie Nicole Rector. <laughs> Leo Joseph Ruther III. <laughs> Zachary Edward Ryery. Vanessa Sue Reinhardt. <laughs> Rebecca Ann Ringer. <laughs> Irene Marie Roberts. Dana Lee Roth. <laughs> Joshua David Roth. <laughs> Stacy Brooke Rucker.
Cassandra Marie Rust. McKaylee Jarrell Sample. Nicole Marie Shank. Andrew Robert Schilly. Eric Christopher Schrader. Rachel Lynn Shrimp. Christina Nicole Schramm. Travis Michael Schwartz. Nalisha Marie Shu. Ross Thomas Shu. Ryan Michael Sprawl. Sean David Stiegel. Kyle Joseph Sutton. Jeremy Lynn Taylor. Tyler Thomas Tomier. Tyler Paul Trollinger. Caleb Lynn Erhan. Waylon Joseph Vines. Brandy Lynn Weber. Kevin Michael Weberry. Russell Carl Weberry. Aaron Michael Wiener. Parker Landon Wiener. Todd Michael Weiler. Arthur Caleb Whitworth. Andrew Michael Webbermeyer. <laughs> Deborah Ray Willett. Joshua Lloyd Williams. Christina Jean Williams. Nicholas Uval Wilson. Andrew Joseph Winkler. <laughs> Willie.
William Wayne Winters. Brian Patrick Whitler. Benjamin James Wolk. Cody Lee Wolk. Derek Eugene Wyatt. Ladies and gentlemen, let's stand and applaud the graduates of 2008. Seniors, graduates of the class of 2008, please stand. As we close our graduation ceremony, we ask that the audience stay seated until all graduates have exited the building. They will meet you in front of the gymnasium briefly before boarding the buses for project graduation. I would now like to call on the class president, Ms. Ashley Armbruster, for the traditional changing of the tassel.